What is up everybody, Kander Kid here, and welcome to another Dumb Times video. We are coming towards the end of the season, but we still have one day, eight hours left on this Thunderstruck event, and I have a total of 10,702 Storm Souls, as they call them, which means I only have 298 souls left to go until I pick up that Arvin right there with Infiltrator skills. So. Let's go ahead and before we get into some battles, I'm gonna show you guys exactly um, what relics I've been using on my Skullgrim um, archer wise so that uh, you can get a good picture of uh, you know exactly what's going on. So his, his skills are as seen on screen there. You got 30% archer's armor piercing, 36% militia damage against titans. 72% archer damage and 44% archer resist against ice. Um, so the first relic we have here is a uh, four-star gilded arc level six. Um, right now it has 34% archer damage and 16% archer critical. Um, the next one is a three-star gilded arc with 22% uh, archer damage, 9% archer critical and 12% archer armor piercing. Next, we have a three-star true shot. It's only level two with archer's critical and archer's damage against spearmen. And then, just for uh, health purposes, um, I got 20%. I got this dragon helm on him with 21% uh, titan health, 14% titan armor, 16% titan resist against poison. Um, and generally, what I, what I'd have on him um, as well would be a uh, three-star. Um, lightning relic damage, uh, lightning damage relic, and then something else. I forget, but uh, I think it's another. Yes, it's van braces. That's three star van braces, I believe. Let me see if I can find those real quick. Yeah, so that stormbreaker, that level five stormbreaker is what I use. Twenty four percent titan damage and uh, twenty percent spearman damage. And then I use a level 6 Fan Braces, 3 star, which is 26% Archer Health, 14% Archer Damage, and uh, Archer's versus against Physical, 16%. So that's what I got on there, but right now I got a 3-star uh, a Book of Storms, 900% boost to Souls Received. Um, believe it or not, that is my only 3-star that I pulled. Everything else has been 2 and 1-stars. And then I have a 1-star, 300% boost to Storm Souls. So, uh... We have two more battles that we have to do. So let's go ahead and jump into this. It's been fairly simple um, due to Skullgrim sucking a lot right now at low levels. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and knock these battles out and see exactly um, what we get with our Arvin. So let's go ahead and hit this up two battles and then we shall be good so right now you can't see it on the screen but I'm gonna get 19.5 times um, when it comes to my souls so that's hundred and ninety five souls I'd be getting um, with the relics that I have on him right now so this should go all right I've ran through a lot of archers um, Panthers do work even though they're undefended lands those Panthers still do work on my archers uh, as well as sometimes pikemen get through. So let's go ahead and try and knock this out before we lose video on this because I've been having technical difficulties um, galore lately. And those archers, man, they do a lot of damage. They do. You know, once I get Skullgrim up to where I want him, since I've gotten him, I've wanted to freaking get him up there, you know, up to level 40s, 50s. But uh, it's not something that I've been able to do, um, you know, preparing for the Lands Awakening event, um, getting, you know, my uh, Italis up to the level 56 that I had him at the Lands Awakening. I just wasn't focused on any other four stars, and that's kind of my mentality on four stars is it's cool to great it's great to get them but you're just not gonna level them up unless you use them all the time and um you uh you grind really hard infusing them so one more battle let's knock this out 
and see exactly what we can do here with Arvin. So knock this out. I'll show you guys what Arvin looks like and we will have completed the um, Thunderstruck event. And you know what, ACDC said it best. We were Thunderstruck. So let's go ahead and knock this shit out. Uh, and then we shall be good. Panthers are a pain, man, they are. Oh well. Oh well. But I'm glad to have these lightning relics, not gonna lie, these four stars and three stars, you know, lightning relics. I'm definitely gonna to push the forge of those up to, to higher levels. Uh, it's gonna be great. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see exactly where these uh, this Arvid can go. Infiltrator skills, you get the right skills on them. Armor piercing, critical um, damage, and he could be a, a paladin killer for real. So uh, that's my next goal, is to see where this Arvin takes us uh, when it comes to infiltrator skills and these lightning relics and see how OP we can get him. So uh, let's go ahead, hit continue, and check out what we get when it comes to everything that's going on. Uh, I'm not gonna defend any of these because you know what, I don't need these farms or mines. Let's go ahead and jump into here and sell some stuff. I don't wanna forge right now. And as you can see, I don't know, I just realized this a couple days ago. If you try and sell, it'll ask you if you're sure you wanna sell. Yes, I'm sure. Uh, um, let's do some more real quick. Alrighty, so things I still haven't used yet. I still got my 50 portal stones. I still have two of the, uh, the storm tokens. And um, here we have our event reward, our Arvin. So let's go ahead and collect him up. And see what we end up getting. So we got two uses on both of those. Going to save those. Um, for any other lightning event we may have. Or I might use them just to help bump us up to where we need to be. And there we have him, Arvin, right there. So let's go ahead, select him, and look at what we skill. So we got uh, Lightning Mastery, 24% Titan Lightning Damage, True Strike, Titan Armor Piercing, True Strike 2, Titan Armor Piercing, Roaring Strike 2, Titan Critical, and Roaring Strike 3, Titan Critical. Not gonna lie, that is beast. I'm happy with him. I am very, very happy with that Arvin. And uh, hope you guys have pretty good skills um, on your Arvin like that. I'm excited to see where he can go and uh, what we can do with his skills. So there you guys have it. Completed the Thunderstruck event and uh, I'm ready to grind for any other events that they throw out at us. Hopefully we get a new type of troop that would be freaking sweet. You know, something that shoots out spells or something like mages, a bunch of wizards and stuff out there. That'd be freaking awesome. And uh, yeah, overall enjoyed the event, unlocked everything and uh, gonna keep grinding for VP so that I can reach our alliance minimum of 1.5 mil. I'm currently at about 1.37 million VP right now. So I got some grinding to do later, but that's all off screen. Um, I'm gonna chillax for the rest of the weekend and uh, come back strong in the next event. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please slap that thumbs up button, comment down below what you thought on the event, share with your buddies, and if you have not done so already and you like the videos I put out and you like my face, you like my hair, you like my voice, whatever, you like the shit that I talk about, go ahead and subscribe. You don't have to but it's greatly appreciated. So without further ado, have a good rest of your weekend. Kendra Kit out.